Oh, you guys don't like mercantilism. Yeah, we'll keep some tariffs fairly low here. Now that's France. If we started shit with France... I think that's how we want to do it. Actually. Get a truce with him, them. They would stop supporting all my dudes. Freedom is brewing, yeah. I don't think Spain's our first target. I think France is our first target. Uh, hold on. Fleet. Right, you finish moving those dudes over there, which I guess is fine. Developed until they're loyal. Oh, if I increase my development? Yeah, that is true. And yeah, we are about to hit the cap again. Again, we could get a very early boost to military. Might be able to happen. I think it'll happen in 1706. Um, yeah, I think we might be able to do it in January. If you're Britain, France is always your first target. I mean, we were Scotland, so we had the old alliance and stuff. But that was a while ago. The old alliance is just way too old at this point. I think this is why I think we're gonna end on a cliffhanger with us declaring on France, you guys. They got some bits over here I would love to take. And yeah, we should probably roll another admiral. I I agree. Oops. Backspace. Chocolate fire guard. Chocolate, chocolate fire guard. You'll do. Hope the war with France starts before I die, so I can get in it. Oh, Sienna! I was like, whoa, that's really dark. I'm like, oh, your character, right? You're an admiral. Mm-hmm. Uh. Oh, you're splitting up because. Hold on, do I not have? Oh, my transport fleet is split in two. France declaring a lot of wars. Okay, you stop. Park there for a sec. You, yes, return here. Yeah, there, you too. Um, return here. We're gonna make sure you're grouped up here. Uh, France does have their plus fire damage age ability for another couple of years, though. <gasps> Empress Consort Anne has died. Rip. Oh, there you go. Light ships. I think you got brought into something incorrectly here. I'm gonna have you manage the English Channel for now, just because actually we might just be able to just really bop a few French ships along the way. So you have, yes, 76 of those. You're going to land these troops over there. Excellent. Boom. And then these guys land over here. So France only has 118,000 troops. These two armies equal the entire strength of France. Although France is France, they're going to have their crazy modifiers and stuff. And I'm going to bring these troops up as well. And we're just going to roll through there. Uh, we're going to probably... September. Need 171. So... How come the cap hasn't gone up? Guys, how can't we store... Why can't we store more than 999? Shouldn't we be able to store 5% more than that? Because isn't this based on innovativeness? Aha! Right. Right, right, right. Now, this will still go down by 10%, right? Because it's 100% extra. Well, so it's effectively going down by 5%. Should be 50. So, yeah, we still won't quite be able to do it. Okay, we'll do a little development. That's fine. Strength in government? Uh, for legitimacy, I suppose we could. 
So, okay, France, what kind of shite do you have running here? Um, isn't there, there's a way for me to see their... Their modifiers, isn't there? I don't know. Oh, 19 dev. There's 19 dev province. Yeah, I should do that one. France, how you looking here? Oh. Yeah, your morale is insane. Hello. Military drill, power production, da 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 military reform. That is that is a stupid amount of morale bonus. That is a stupid amount of morale bonus. Welcome to France, yeah. Now, they don't have much manpower. I think I think we'd just be able to, like, we could accept losing a few battles to just grind down their manpower. And we've got so many dudes together, we're still going to outnumber them. Again, they'll be kind of costly battles for us. But even if we lose, it'll be a, a, a Fyrick victory for France. I'm sorry, is France in a war against the Ottomans? We can do a lot of mercs. Of course, that will lower our, our, our professionalism. Which we've been milking pretty heavily. Uh, yeah, we're, it's, go, it's go time. We're in France, they were a good ally. So, unless I'm wrong, I can declare war anytime with imperialism, right? Yep, good. <laughs> Allied with Ming? Uh, um, here. We'll go ahead and tell them prepare for war. Just, you know, we'll definitely want to bring them in. Yeah, we'll just we'll just buy out the corruption right away. It's gonna be fine. I mean, we have a ginormous fleet, so that's obviously gonna go well. I'll leave the. Uh, um, could you maybe bring the admiral with you? The admiral got left. Oh, cause it's this is the way I separated them, right? No, you guys. No, god damn it. Doc, do this. Drop the transports from the fleet. There we go. Get the heavies over here, and. Um, We'll probably give you an automatic blockade mission. In the North Atlantic. Boom. Should be okay. I mean, we could do it with lights. Quill being around, prepared for should be the normal state. Yeah, let's, um, let's let it rip, man. What could possibly go wrong? Sweet, wait, they won't join? Distant war. I can promise them land. But they still won't join. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, guys, we got five minutes left. So, you know. We can win a war in five minutes, right? We'll be home by Christmas. Uh, oh! Mission fulfilled? What, by declaring war in France? Look for the shiny. Oh! Oh, the Hundred Years' War! Wow! Is that war with France? Boom! Permanent claims. Alright. Then strategic control if we do actually grab Paris. <laughs> That's so funny. It's funny, because we didn't start as England, right? So, we definitely did not get those events. There you go, they're gonna split up a bit. Those are 23 lights, but we're gonna leave some lights over there. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Let's bring it down to a speed 3 for a sec here. Um, who's got the best siege bonus? One, zero, one. All right, artistic sumo, you can't reach there. Wait, what's actually, is it this fort? I guess so, and then this fort, yeah. All right, well, you got a one, 
And we got a one. I don't like spreading out too much, but I think it's going to be okay. I'll actually come back here because it's going to let us eject those ships. Let's park the lights here for a sec. Oh, which might move the heavies off. You know what? Actually, I'm going to bring all my fleet together for a scooch. Here. Except the transport, so you can stay parked. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we lost some ships there. That's fine. Only need to siege down Paris for the next mission. Nice. Alright. Group you up here. Leave the heavies there. The light ships. You're going to have the mission to blockade enemy ports in the North Atlantic. So you actually blockade fairly efficiently, and then the heavy ships are going to be free to move and garrison the, um, the fleets that will be ejected out. All right, sieges are happening fairly quickly. We've got Max Can. I actually didn't check the fort level of France. Two, one. Wow, they don't have a proper fort in Paris. Amazing. Actually, I'm going to do that. Battle Straits of Dover. Pew, 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 pew. 450 stack French troops somewhere in Africa. Could be. I don't know where their stuff is. Uh, no real rebellions at this time. You're done here. You're going to march there. You're going to march to Co. so we can eject these guys into the sea. That's done. I'm going to grab another fort over here. Just roll over France here. They have a lot of big allies. Which is going to be a problem to, like, mount the, the war score, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, grab Rene to fill another mission getting Brittany. Okay, well, I mean, that that's... Actually, I didn't realize that was part of mission. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, we will go and look into that, certainly. Another ability? I mean, the arrow's almost over. There. There we go. There might Maybe there's going to be a lot of devastation. We are making a lot of points, right? Large army. We don't have Emperor of China. We haven't won a religious war. We're not going to. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and split over here. Siege of Paris. And indeed, there's our mission. Strategic control. Great Britain gains force union CB on France. Permanent claim on Brittany. Done. Now, that would be a different CB. We could do it and form a personal union. If we stop the war, which actually, that means we could use this on the next war, right? Personal union and then sort of build up on that. Subjugate France. Ile de France. Okay, so that'll be a priority is taking all this stuff. Best CB in the game. It's pretty good. Uh, there we go. We got a fort there. Here, you come over here. You're doing that, which is groovy. And all the blockades and stuff. Straits of Dover. Not the cheapest conversions, but that's going to be fine. So, let's see. France got some dudes there. Surprisingly, no dudes here. We do have an army here, which I'd forgotten about. Here, let's roll another general, since we're basically capped. Uh, we'll have Crystal! Crystal! Boom. Come down here. Not that, that province doesn't even matter. We might just go and, like, just go straight to, the, to Benin over here, actually, and just do that. <laughs> 32k money and growing. Oh, Royal Marriage of Sweden ended. No, we want to keep this going. Hedwig! Guys, Hedwig is our, is our Empress Consort. Luckily, Hedwig never dies. Ever. Just rip that part out of the book. It doesn't matter. Losing Rome? Okay, yeah. That's... Okay, I gotta say, Milan's got a lot of dudes. Now, the thing is, if we look at relative strength, 
It does look like they have more than us, but I think that's mostly Ming really throwing off the numbers. You're still in a war against the Ottomans too, and Ming's quite far away. Now they might go and, and start grabbing some stuff over here. There's a very good chance this is not gonna be like a, a wait until 100% war score kind of war. It might just be a, you know, let's let's get what we can now that it's convenient because grinding up the war score is being very annoying kind of war. It might be more like that. Um, there you go. Another whack at their navy, whatever's left of it. They're going to dock in Calais. We'll eject them again. There's Rene over here. Move to Anson. Hey, there's a CD there. For a long time, there wasn't. Because I was like, I was saying Alain Cohen. And I was like, that's not how you say it, but there wasn't a CD. Now there is Anson. Oh, ho. It looks really stupid with this font, but, you know, I guess the font doesn't support Descenders. Uh, right, we're here. We're going to do Benin. That's fine. Main is mine. Mine. Hedwig picked her own death. Jared putting up a Harry's bullcrap. Yeah, you know, okay, I like that. Good headcanon. Lost the Siege of Pisa. Okay. I mean, look, it is taking them forever to siege down these level 8 forts. Keeping them busy. They're losing some men to attrition. We're capped on stuff. Um, I guess we'll spend... Oh, well, okay. Military. Sure. Spend all the things. Done. Um, so we get new dudes. Uh, what kind of dudes? Cannons. Royal Mortars. Mortar combat. Yep, we can do it now. We're not about to get into any kind of fight or anything like that. So that's groovy. Milanese army might reach overland to South France. Yeah. I mean, I think we'd still be able to take them. Although, if they get to use France's uh, military bonuses while taking advantage of their dudes, that will sort of suck. Um, I'm not too worried about that. We can go and deal with these with some heavies. In fact, right, what I was going to do here... Our heavies... Um... Repair damage, so these undamaged heavies are actually going to come down here, because we've got some other forts to do. And they might bop some dudes along the way. Um, oh yeah, we don't need to influence Naples. They're our vassal, which is nice, yep. Yeah. And we might be able to integrate them soon. I'm going to remind these guys, their main job is just to go around trying to see if they can snatch some sieges or desiege some stuff. That's really all I need them to do. You like the Warcraft 3 reference? Man, who else is pumped for Warcraft 3 Remastered? God, this is going to be good. So we're here. We don't have a ton of cannons, and we don't have anything off the coast either. So that's a little slow. Uh, we can't go to Troy. There we, go. we can go down here. There we go. Thank you for letting me select the other army. Because we've got this over here. Only 3% war score. We've got the, the capital, though. Yeah, we're not going to add more uh, terrace. Holding Paris equals 1% more score, yeah. Uh, wait. Did I not hit Imperialism CB? I guess I didn't. Where's Abami? Shit. Twitch chat? How did you not spot that? I mean, we know why I didn't spot that. How did you not spot that? Luckily, we have one of our allies doing this. That's, uh, that's fine. It's fine. You know why? Because I'd selected it, then we tabbed out, like, we closed out, we checked a couple things, and we went back in. And it reset to the, whatever the top thing in the list is. That's exactly what happened. Um, we should probably sort of group a little and then take care of this, which is probably looking to take out Paris. There's some extra dudes over there. Okay, let's come down here. These two sieges are about to hit. Now, they'll, they'll be able to desiege Paris in seconds because it's not an actual fort. That's fine because apparently there's no taking war score from it. Ugh. Oh, yeah. CB is Casas Belli. It's your, it's Latin for like cause for war or whatever. 
Uh, France gets core on Frenzy. No. Plus 30% local autonomy. Whatever. Of course we failed those siege ticks. Why would we have succeeded in the siege ticks? Nova Hollandia? Interesting. Come on. Tick already. Both of you at the same time. All right. Not that this is a large group of people. Uh, we're going to take... Oh, okay. They might be heading over here. There we go. Let's meet up over here. With our powers combined, we shall become Captain Planet. All right. Then go and smash these guys, which should be fine. You don't have the Parisian powers. Um, I guess we could take a look at our war enemies and take a look at Milan and their army stuff and make sure... They do have 6.5 morale. What the hell, man? Can we actually take this? I mean, we have a numerical advantage. We'll head, um, yeah, we'll actually force march. I don't think you'll get there for this battle, but if we lose it, you'll be back for the follow-up battle. Where, I mean, the morale will get reset, but a lot of their dudes will be dead. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're doing tons of damage. That's the thing. We had the discipline bonus and that sort of stuff. It was just like, we might lose the battle, but still do more damage. Um, Alright, so you are... You're the siege one. Grab you. I'll send you over here. And you can swing down to Lyonet for now. And why don't you retake Paris? Actually, scratch that. Why don't you wait here for a sec until they're locked on their path to Valois. And go and smash their ass. Groovy. <laughs> so, we're ten minutes over time. Things are going well here. I'm feeling like this is going to be a good place for us to put in a cut. It's going to take us a while to finish this war. That'll have to be next time. These guys slowly sieging this down. Meanwhile, they're taking some attrition. Okay, not much. Just the 1% default one. Uh, we got a navy that can go around crushing face in a few different places, too, which is going to be swell. Um, at least we've got the ticking war score now. It's not, it's not the right CB, because I think the uh, cost to take things aren't going to be what we want. But oh well. Oh, you can't go through because of the uh, fort. Well, it's going to be fine. Oh yes, you can you can automate the heavies. I forgot about that. The Royal Navy is the one with all the heavies, right? Um, I kind of wanted the blockade over here because we're we're going to be doing this fort now, or not now. Hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. Yeah. Okay. I forgot about these features, which are kind of nice. You guys are still repairing here. A few more heavies that really will want to join up, but yeah. And yeah, we can grab some of these lights as well. Grab half of these. And your mission is now to blockade the Mediterranean. And probably add more of these guys to that mission. Siege of Benin is over. Good, so now we can move forward properly. You're going to go there. You're going to walk all the way down just to smash that guy. We'll go with the whole stack. Hopefully get a stack wipe or something. Um, on the basis that they may not be able to run away properly. And that's going to be okay. All right, folks. C'est la fin. Oui, c'est la fin. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Next scheduled live stream is going to be Wednesday, which is going to be continuation of our Civilization VI Deity Canada run, which is going kind of fun, despite the fact literally zero warfare. Lots of barbarians, but otherwise literally zero warfare, and it's been a hoot. Are the Ottomans losing? Interesting. I mean, France is obviously not helping in that war. It looks like Galicia's doing a pretty good number on things here. Yeah, they're not feeling very good. Oh, you're also in a war against Russia. That's not going to help. Ottomans, you may have bitten off a bit more than you can chew, but that's good. You could use a power hit. And meanwhile, it's still good that, like, Ming is, you know, potentially distracted here. Mostly, nothing seems to be happening. We could send some heavies over here to hunt enemy troops or something, too, but mostly we're just going to ignore it. No, none of the territory over here is going to be worth much in the way of war score, so it's not a big deal. 
Uh, I can't pull any of these colonists out because they're all... That, that flag over here means they're expelling some people. They're just relocating the, the um, Highlanders over here to keep an eye on Australia. And, yeah. I think this is pretty swell. I think we'll go and put a cut in here. Folks, thanks for watching. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.